And high school parents want answers after the school's auditorium flooded again last week. Our Chris Welty is getting answers and joins us live from Lafayette High. Chris, is there any type of solution in sight? Hey, Marcel, school board member Justin Santani says the district does have money set aside for a pump for the auditorium here at Lafayette High School, but there's no firm timetable on when that pump will be installed. On Facebook, parents and teachers are airing their frustrations. After the school's auditorium flooded again on Thursday, you can see in these viewer submitted photos water underneath the stage and covering the floor in the audience several rows back. One parent says she drove by the school last week. No one was there suctioning the water out or handling the situation. In her post, she says she's also concerned about her children being exposed to mold. Now, this is a story we've been following for years. In April 2016, Justin Santeni walked through the flooded auditorium as he was preparing to hold a town hall meeting. This afternoon, Santeni said the district has met with contractors three times to figure out how the water is getting in and how to seal it. So far, no solution. Once purchased, the pump will be installed near the foot of the stage and will kick on when water rises. I also reached out to Kyle Bordelon, school system director of planning and facilities. Bordelon went on to say there is no set pattern to when the auditorium floods. He says sometimes when there's a heavy rain, no water gets inside, but sometimes there's a little rain and the auditorium floods. Bordelon says the next step is to get quotes, order the pumps and have them installed. Live in Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. Well, agriculture and forestry officials.